So, with summon boards arriving comes a, the first level 150 stage that Global has received. So, this is the challenge from Ifrit Ultimate Stage. I'm bringing along a team of Balthier, Agrius, Lilliset with Equistus support and Bahamut summon. So, I wanted to run this without using Celeste since she kind of cheeses the fight a little bit. And I also um, didn't want to use my own Equistus because some people don't have her. And so, I kind of wanted to show off a team um, that can get the job done without her. So, yeah, I figured I uh, would uh, use this team. So, I'll go ahead and show off my artifacts just real quick. So, there's Balthier. <laughs> he's, not, uh, he's not very great. I only have two equipped. And then here is Agrius. And then here is Lilliset. Okay, there we are. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. So... Pretty much from this point forward, uh, Ifrit is the go-to summon because they changed his blessing. Um, made it more powerful and easier to access. But this guy absorbs fire, obviously, so that's not really an option. So we're going to run Bahamut. So basically the goal here is to survive until Bahamut's charged. Uh, and what's interesting about this fight is that by far, this guy's single target attacks are scarier than his AoE. His AoE are kind of a joke, um, but his single target, particular, he uses a move called, was it Flame Claw? It's extremely potent, and oh my god, I got a stun first turn, what is this nonsense? Anyway, Flame Claw is extremely potent and is basically almost guaranteed um, to trigger his Veil effect, which if you haven't uh, just done this fight before... When he has his veil up, he can't be HP uh, HP attacks. Well, he can, but he'll take no damage. So, pretty annoying. Okay. So he should, because he hasn't got a single attack off yet, he should just be doing his normal brave attack, which I'm counting on. So we'll see if that's the case or not. Okay, we're just going to brave here. Nice. Okay, cool. Alright, so now he's going to try and Flame Claw. This is where Agrios comes in. On top of her healing, uh, Silence blocks Flame Claw. It pretty much blocks, like, almost all of Ifrit's arsenal, in fact. So, uh, Agrios, if you have her, is a great, great unit to use her here, rather. Okay, let's throw it on Knight's Pride here. Okay. So yeah, so we're flooding him with debuffs right now. So he's... Okay, cool. This this all attack is perfectly fine. I, I don't care. So, in fact, it does so little... A second stun. What is this nonsense? <laughs> this, is, this is some legendary Agrias luck here for me. Uh, anyway, what I was going to say is his AoE does so little damage that if he wasn't stunned right here, I would just Brave Attack plus, and the tiny amount of battery generated would be enough to prevent anyone from getting broken. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to Great Aims. I'm going to sub Balthier out for Quistus when uh, the summon's ready. Alright, so yeah, so here. So, Brave Attack with Agrios. And that attack is nothing. It's just, compared to his other stuff, it's just, it's just absolutely nothing. Okay, so this is this is almost assuredly going to be Flame Claw. So I'm just going to Brave here, because I do not want Balthier to get... Actually... Yeah, I'm just going to Brave, because the battery uh, little set would give me wouldn't be enough pre to prevent a break, unfortunately. So, let's just go ahead and refresh Central Dance. Get those debuffs up. Yep, so yeah. So even with an attack down and a magic attack down from Lilliset, he still was doing 5,000 a hit. Very, very, very strong move. Okay, so how are we going to shave this guy down? Okay, we're going to use Judgment Blade. It's not going to do any HP damage. But it is going to make it so that I can burn... Oh, Balthier, please. Okay, HP Veil is down. Okay, so now he's going to try and Flame Claw again. 
But we're going to prevent that from happening. Because we ain't playing. Okay. So now his bar is filled, so now this is going to be an HP AoE attack. Uh, it's the one that he uses, he just opens the match up with. So, you should be familiar with it. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just going to HP attack. And then just like his other AoE attack, it's so weak that just a Brave Plus will prevent anyone from getting broken. So you just... Absolutely nothing. Lilliset, Lilliset nerfs everything this guy does except for that flame charge move, which is just some ridiculously strong stuff. Nice. Okay. Bahamut's just about ready to roll here. Okay. Let's, uh, let's judge him play and just push him back. <laughs> Another stun. What is this? I swear on my life, I've never had luck like this before with, uh, with Agrios. <laughs> Any regulars of the channel will, will, their jaws will probably hit the floor at this point. Okay, so, Quistus comes in, Bahamut's up, and it just gets out of control from here. Look at Agrios is brave, like, my lord. <laughs> Just a generator whip for days, man. Ooh, that'd have been really nice if my hollowed bolt was ready. I'm trying to think what's gonna do more damage, Judgment Blade or Knight's Pride. It'll probably be Knight's Pride because of the battery effect and the ma oh my oh definitely Knight's Pride. Oh my god! Wow. Yeah, we'll just homing whip just for kicks. Everyone's... Agrios is close to Brave, so the battery would have been a little bit wasted. Jeez. I, I don't even need to use the X. Okay, so yeah, we'll just Central Dance them out of Whirling Edge. Now, I don't think Quistus will cap, but we're going to try it. Nope. Bummer. Okay. And, uh... Oh, the leading man comes back in the last second to steal the show. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, so there we go. So, no Celeste... No native Quistus. I still brought a support Quistus because she's so good. Uh, really, really helps against this guy. Um, but yeah, so there we go. 231,000 score. There is no like tar yeah, extra score for rewards. It's just beat the stage, beat the target score, and you're good to go. So there we go, guys. There's a complete run. That went amazingly well. I mean, of course, me um, getting an Agrius stun every other turn was, um, was just amazing. But... Um, yeah, this team has some great synergy. Uh, Lilliset can really nuke down Ifrit's damage, aside from that broken Flame Claw move. Uh, Balthier can steal debuffs, which, if you don't have Balthier, use, use Vanille. Uh, use Celeste. Celeste really trivializes the fight, too. Um, and then Agrias, of course, can silence and heal. So, great team. Uh, Beatrix uh, works really well here, too, with her Saint Cloth. Um, can really shave well. Bart's is terrific here as well. Bart's completely just destroys his Flame Veil when he puts it up uh, with uh, Missile. Yeah, there's 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 quite a few uh, options you can use here. Um, Kelly, you can even try and use Ferris. Ferris with her debuffs could uh, really, <laughs> really nerf his uh, damage too. But, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out. I will be uh, streaming summon boards here within the next day or two, maybe even tonight. I'm not sure. But um, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.